Jackson's bedroom maid. I was gonna keep the secret all my life. A world exclusive from the woman who holds Michael's deepest secrets. That I know about this special friend. He will drop one and get another one, drop another one and get another one. Uh, him sleeping with them for days, taking baths together, showers together. You've heard the bodyguards, you've heard LaToya, but you haven't heard any... His multi-million dollar deal with Pepsi fizzled out. Columbia Pictures looks like it's ready to drop Jackson's contract, and even his friends hesitate to come to his defense. Michael Jackson has spoken so highly of you in the past, and I just need some words of support from him at the moment. getting them from me personally. I mean, this, I, I just, I mean, he's in my prayers, and I really, I just can't wait till he can get on with his life. I really... The thing that people are asking, apart from Miss Taylor, nobody's come forward, but could you just say that you're he's standing with Liz, and he's the safest he could possibly be is with Liz right now. No word whether his most public ally, Liz Taylor, has seen him since his return. But Jackson's Neverland Ranch has now come under siege by certain members of the media. Reports are that last night, photographers actually jumped the wall to try to get pictures of the elusive star. You okay, Mr. Jackson? You want to take a break? My mouth hurts. Okay. Did you, at the break, did... did be a collaborator in her brother's crimes against small innocent children her words in israel jackson said she believes her brother michael is guilty of sexually assaulting a 13 year old boy she says to remain silent about what she knows would mean that she too feels the guilt and humiliation of her brother's alleged victim is feeling latoya jackson says she knows the checks that could prove her famous brother bought the silence of other possible victims i have seen checks payable to the parents of these children and I don't know if these children were apparently bought to the parents by Michael or not, but I have seen these checks, and I've seen these checks through my mother. Well, her mother, Catherine Jackson, denies all that, says her daughter and her son-in-law, Jack Gordon, are simply out for the money. LaToya is lying, and I'll tell her to her face she's lying, and she knows it. She's as for Michael Jackson, he is said to be still in Europe, reportedly being treated for an addiction to painkillers. Mrs. Jackson says her son has told her he plans to come home to fight the allegations against him. Miss Taylor, how are Michael's spirits, Miss Taylor? Can, can you tell us how his spirits are, Miss Taylor? Ms. Taylor? Sources also indicate that police want to talk to Elizabeth Taylor. On Friday, Taylor said she knew where Michael was, but vowed not to tell. I have not spoken publicly about our movements or about Michael's exact location. And because of my regard for him and my concern for his health, I will continue to be silent on these matters. Liz also took credit for sneaking Michael out of Mexico City and finding him a drug clinic. Meanwhile, as Liz spoke, the Los Angeles police executed two lightning raids in Beverly Hills. They took the unprecedented step of raiding the offices of Jackson's private doctors to seize photographs and medical records. Dr. Stephen Hoffman did reconstructive surgery on Michael's face. He also treated Michael's scalp for burns suffered while filming a Pepsi commercial eight years ago. Dr. Arnold Klein is Michael's dermatologist. He also treated Michael's head wound. This exclusive photograph is the first to confirm that Michael may have received treatment as late as four months ago in a midnight visit to his doctor's office. The shower cap on his head is the only sign that Michael had more work done on his scalp. Michael himself claimed that he got hooked on painkillers taken after the scalp surgery. Several months ago, I had some major reconstructive surgery on my scalp caused when I was burned filming a TV commercial. I was prescribed medication for severe pain caused by the operation. I became increasingly more dependent on the painkillers to get me through the days of my tour. Dr. Klein also reportedly treated Michael for a skin pigmentation disorder. Police are concerned that Michael may be altering telltale skin markings described by the 13-year-old boy who now accuses him of sexual abuse. And a bizarre footnote, another Hollywood luminary joins Liz Taylor in apparent support of Michael Jackson, on the back cover of today's Hollywood Reporter, Maximilian Schell, the star of Judgment at Nuremberg, sends a curious handwritten letter 
addressed to Michael somewhere on this planet. Shell says he's ashamed of what the press, media, and the world have done to Michael. He says his four-and-a-half-year-old daughter does an excellent imitation of Michael and wants to marry him. Maureen, it's freezing here in London. Our once-in-20-year snowstorm fell over the weekend, yet it just keeps getting hotter and hotter for Michael Jackson. I'll stay on the case, and I'll keep you up to date. Okay, and when Mr. Jackson is going to be returning? Uh, we believe it will be six to eight weeks. That's somewhat indefinite, like most cures. No word yet on whether Michael Jackson is completely cured or is still undergoing some kind of outpatient therapy. But his surprise return may have been spurred on by last week's comments from his own sister. LaToya Jackson said that after watching her mother defend Michael on hard copy and on other programs, she had been pushed to the limit and just had to speak out. Now you stop and you think for one second and you tell me what 35-year-old man is going to take a little boy and stay with him for 30 days and take another boy and stay with him for five days in a room and never leave the room. How many of you out there are 35 years old? How many men are out there? How many would take little kids and do that? LaToya could wind up being a witness against her own brother. Michael Jackson knows that, and so do his lawyers. Why are you seeking the gag order? Uh, no comment, guys. Jackson's defense team was in court today trying to minimize the damage from a 13-year-old boy's civil suit. Larry Feldman is the boy's attorney, and this week he'll be taking sworn testimony from witnesses nearly every day. Those depositions will include some bombshells, and Jackson's people want it all kept quiet. Anthony Pelicano, the superstar's controversial private detective, is scheduled to be deposed, and so is this woman. I saw this mother taking these boys to the house, uh, him sleeping with them for days. She was Michael Jackson's personal maid, and she could turn out to be the most damaging witness yet. She's told her story to the police, to the district attorney's office, too. She'll repeat it under oath during depositions later this week. She's told authorities she saw shocking behavior between Jackson and young boys. Even more damaging, she's told the police she worries about her own son's involvement with the superstar. Thanks, Diane. Michael Jackson's maid has leveled the strongest accusations yet against the superstar. Her story has been unwavering. On Wednesday, she goes under oath, and we will have the exclusive on what the maid says she saw inside Michael's private quarters. The maid has already talked this week, reportedly for a fee, to the tabloid TV program Hard Copy. I saw this mother taking these boys to the house, uh, him sleeping with them for days and taking baths together, showers together. The maid also expressed concern that Jackson may have molested her then seven-year-old son. The police have interviewed both mother and son. She says she quit her maid's job out of disgust, but the family says she is seeking revenge because she was fired. Most of the time when these people are fired, they always look for Michael. The maid's story is only the latest in a series of setbacks for Jackson. Last month, his former bodyguards filed a lawsuit charging they were fired because they knew too much. And his own sister recently went public to say she suspects Jackson is a child molester. I love him a great deal, but I cannot and I will not be a silent collaborator of his crimes against small, innocent children. The rest of the family is standing behind Michael. Jackson's last public appearance was in Mexico last month. He has maintained his silence since returning Friday from Europe where he reportedly received treatment for addiction to painkillers. The media attention has made him a virtual prisoner at his Santa Barbara ranch, a place he called Neverland. Judy Muller, ABC News, Los Angeles. What we believe to be the largest Christmas lights display in the country. ...in the lawsuit filed by a 13-year-old boy who says Jackson molested him. Blanca uh, Francia was surrounded by a media throng when she arrived to give her deposition in which she claims Jackson bathed and slept nude with boys and gave her gifts to reward her silence. Francia worked for Jackson for five years at his Neverland Ranch, but said she quit in disgust two years ago. Now, what was your response to the alleged extortion attempt? I told him there'd be no way in the world that this would ever happen, that I wasn't going to kowtow to any extortion attempt, and they can take a walk. Did you communicate this to Mr. Jackson? I don't need to communicate with Mr. Jackson. I take care of his problems for him.
But then, two days later, the boy's explicit allegations stunned us all when a current affair revealed his claims, which were compiled by the Los Angeles Department of Children's Services. Miner said at first Mr. Jackson would, quote, cuddle, unquote, him and kiss him on the cheek, and Miner did not feel uncomfortable with this. Mr. Jackson then began to, quote, rub up against me, unquote, while sleeping in bed. Miner says mother stayed in guest house on Michael's ranch. Miner says over time, Mr. Jackson, quote, graduated to kissing me on the mouth. One time he was kissing me and put his tongue in my mouth, and I said, don't do that. Mr. Jackson started crying. I guess he tried to make me feel guilty, unquote. Meanwhile, the print media was too quick to mention that Michael's big-time Hollywood friends were missing in action. These were the defenders that Jackson Camp did produce. Two young boys. Both insisted he'd done nothing wrong, but then both admitted to sharing Michael Jackson's bed. We sleep in the bed, both have fully dressed, we have pajamas on, and that's mainly it, you know. He sleeps on one side, I sleep on the other. It's a big bed, and we just go to sleep. In the end, it was a public relations exercise of dubious merit. It was hard not to ask, who were the mothers of these boys who allowed them to sleep in Michael Jackson's bed? It doesn't bother you at all that he spends, that he sleep in the same bed to you, that seems to No, be I know the way they live when they're, when they're together. They play very hard. And they obviously play. I've been in the room. I know. I see what goes on. I stay there too. But then the tide would turn again. A report that the 13-year-old's father, a Beverly Hills dentist, was a fledgling screenwriter with a credit on the new Mel Brooks movie. We're men, manly men, we're men in tights. Yes! And it was reported that, in fact, he'd tried to have Michael Jackson set him up with a $20 million production deal. They're going to get hurt by it. So I had to get the, I, I had to make it. If they don't sit down and talk to me, yeah. they're going to get hurt. They can't keep telling me to go f myself anymore. They have to talk. Meanwhile, all hell broke loose on Michael Jackson's tour. As the scandal grew, Michael began canceling shows. I'm sorry for not performing yesterday as I am really sick. He shouldn't act like that. He's been doing this too many times. Uh, this was typically a typical case of migraine, which was very severe. Bitterly disappointed, Bitterly. Michael. I was suddenly taken ill last night, and I am sorry for the cancellation of my performance. By the weekend, Elizabeth Taylor hopped on a plane to cheer him in Singapore, and a current affairs Mike Watkins was with her. Why did you think it was important? And obviously, it's a grueling flight, and you're very busy. Why did you think it was so important to come see Michael at this Well, point? Michael is one of my best friends in the whole world, and I can't think of any worse thing a human being could go through than what he's going through now. When we come back, we'll talk about the real fears tonight that guilty or innocent, the experience of the past two weeks will lead Michael to close the curtain once again. I think a lot of people for years were fighting over his custody. Among the points of contention, Michael Jackson. July 12th, the first serious signs of trouble. The boy's father, a Beverly Hills dentist, demands his ex-wife keep the boy away from Michael. Sometime that month, a reported phone call from the father to the boy's stepfather is recorded. Michael Jackson's career, yeah. this man is going to be humiliated beyond belief. Yeah. He will not believe it. He will not believe what's going to happen to him. Yeah. Beyond, his, beyond his worst nightmares, my son is being harmed greatly. And that his life, he could be f***ed up for the rest of his life. you got to tell me why you think he's being screwed up. I have the evidence. The events that follow are, according to Jackson's security man, Anthony Pelicano. August 4th, Pelicano says he turned down the father's demand for $20 million. He says he attended a meeting with the boy, his father, and Michael Jackson himself. Pelicano alleges the father wanted Jackson's help getting into the movie business. If not, he allegedly threatened to ruin the star with child abuse charges. To me, the only, the only thing that's important to me is protecting Michael. August 5th, 
Pelicano says he met with the father and his attorney. He offered the father a movie deal worth $350,000. The father turned that down. August 6th, Pelicano says he offered the same deal over the phone. Pelicano says both times he was trying to set the father up. But oddly, the audio expert says he did not take the alleged meetings or phone calls. Well, as you know, I have made these charges of extortion, and it's obvious that nobody's come forward to say that there was no extortion. August 17th, the boy alleges sex abuse at the hands of Michael Jackson. Pelicano says he had received a letter from the father's lawyer that day, again saying no deal. That same day, the 13-year-old boy made the accusations to a therapist. The therapist reported the meeting to police. August 19th, Michael Jackson sets off on his concert tour. August 21st, police raid his ranch and his condo in Los Angeles. The very next day, police would confirm that Jackson was being investigated for possible child abuse. But speaking ever louder was Jackson's private eye, Pelicano, claiming Michael was the victim. As I stated last night, I have been actively engaged in an investigation regarding an extortion attempt. For years, I have been working for Michael, who unfortunately has been the victim of this and other types of extortion attempts. So would begin these 13 days that would change Michael Jackson forever and threaten to end his public life. Thanks, Bill, and the public. Stay with hard copy for all the latest on the Michael Jackson case. Now, the Menendez murder... I'm Terry Murphy. And I'm Barry Nolan. Good night. Since I met from the start, I'm so proud I am the only one who is special in her art. The girl is mine. The doggone girl is mine. Don't waste your time because the doggone girl is mine. <laughs>